Christmas night, 1958. Live, in color, from New York. The Nutcracker. Performed by the New York City Ballet. Diana Adams. Allegra Kent. The New York City Ballet Orchestra and created by Georges Balanchine. Tonight on Playhouse 90. Playhouse 90. Brought to you by Kimberly Clark, world leader in quality products for home and industry. Among them, wonderfully soft Delsey bathroom tissue and Kleenex tissues that pop up one at a time. On Playhouse 90, to introduce tonight's show, June Lockhart. Good evening. Tonight, a magical world of wonderful surprises. A Christmas story with a difference. For as you will soon see, it is not told, it is danced. In just one minute, the favorite Christmas show of children everywhere, The Nutcracker, created by Georges Balanchine and performed by the New York City Ballet. And now, in just one minute, The Nutcracker. Soft, strong, pops up too. Kleenex tissues are best for you. When you're taking makeup off your face, Kleenex wipes off every trace. Soft, strong, pops up too. Kleenex tissues are best for you. Aren't Kleenex tissues wonderful? I use them right around the clock. I start early when I'm making a picture. Of course, you'll always find Kleenex on the set. The pop-up box is so much handier. And these soft, absorbent tissues take off all your makeup, too. Later in the day, I pick up the children. One always seems to have the sniffles. That's another reason for choosing these extra strong tissues. And of course, last thing at night, I always check on the baby. Gentle Kleenex and babies just go together, don't they? Wonderful Kleenex tissues in the pop-up box. There's a color for every room in your house. been a lovely long day full of Christmas but Christmas Day isn't Christmas without a real old-fashioned story of magic and miracle our story the Nutcracker begins once upon a time just a little over a hundred years ago in Nuremberg Germany here lived the family Silverhouse Papa who was president of the city council Mama and their two children Clara a lovely little girl given to dreaming and imagining, and Fritz, her brother, and exact opposite. <laughs> For he was as bad as she was good. Tonight, they are permitted to stay up late, for there is to be a Christmas party with friends and relatives, and even the grandparents are coming. And also Clara's godfather, Herr Drosselmeyer. There's to be dancing and presents and games galore, and all sorts of astonishing surprises. But when children stay up late, they do fall asleep. And when they sleep, sometimes they dream. Clara, dreaming, saw angels. Angels who, after placing the most exciting toys right under the Christmas tree, flew away in a shower of light 
to visit other children. moment. The guests are here. Parents and children all arriving for the party. games they play, leapfrog, and also blind man's buff. And still more games this Christmas Eve. Running and jumping and marching games. finding a partner. There just aren't enough little girls. So his mother dances with him.
by their very special guest, the grandparents. Christmas punch for the grown-ups. And for the children, Mother brings in Christmas candy. Chocolate, marzipan, peppermint, sugar plums, all the candies children everywhere love. And now, that most thrilling of all Christmas moments, the giving of presents. All at once, Clara hears the chimes of the great old grandfather clock in the hall. Of all the wonderful things in the house, Clara loves best to watch the owl upon that clock. As the hours strike, the owl blinks and flaps its wings. And that is when Clara always expects the most magical thing in the world to happen. Tonight, perhaps, it will. I guess that's all there is. Well, Susie, I met him at Janie's and he's just the absolute end. He said... Excuse me. Well, anyway, we have a date Friday at... No, not again. I just wish Mom wouldn't bother with those old paper napkins anymore. All they do is slide right off your lap. Well, see you in class, Susie. Pardon me, miss. Oh, who are you? You're cute. I'm Manners, the butler. And I wish you'd try Kleenex table napkins. They're made to stay on your lap. Oh, super. Why, they cling like cloth. And Kleenex table napkins have a new kind of soft strength. So soft, yet so strong, they'll last through any meal. They're the perfect size, too. Not the skimpy postage stamp kind. I do hope all of you try Kleenex table napkins. They're the greatest. They cling like cloth. Yes, like cloth. Thank you so much. So Clara, even in the midst of the Christmas party, is all alone out in the hall, listening to her beloved clock striking the hour, watching the mysterious owl who lives atop the clock, waiting for... Godfather Drosselmeyer has arrived for the Christmas party. What is he bringing for his godchild, Clara? A great big package and a little friend, his nephew. child in Nuremberg who doesn't fear Herr Drosselmeyer. But not one of them is able to resist him. But Godfather Drosselmeyer is a wizard, everyone is sure. He can make the smallest, most perfect watch, or even the most intricate mousetrap. It is said that he can turn himself into an owl, and that he can make dolls so real that they have often been mistaken for people.
first surprise is a box with two dolls in it. The dolls are Harlequin and Columbine. Now for the second surprise. Here is something all the children want, a hobby horse. is Godfather Drosselmeyer's latest and most extraordinary invention. A nutcracker in the shape of a general. A most important general. Clara loves the Nutcracker. It is the best present Godfather Drosselmeyer has ever brought her. Oh, and this is more than Fritz can bear. Poor Nutcracker. 
Nutcracker. Fritz has broken Nutcracker's teeth and arm and has hurt him very badly. Christmas Eve in Nuremberg. The festivities end with a dance. The grandfather dance. Parents and children dance side by side. The children imitating the grown-ups. party is over.
Clara is off to bed and dreams of Godfather Drosselmeyer's wonderful nutcracker and of his oh-so-polite and oh-so-handsome little nephew. But the surprises of this night are not yet over. Much is to happen before our Christmas story is ended. Now, a word from our alternate sponsor of Act One, your gas company. Today, more people than ever are living better, more economically with gas. Julia Mead shows you why. Hello. You know, it's amazing what gas can do today. Modern gas ranges are completely automatic. Even top burners are thermostatically controlled. This gas refrigerator makes and serves ice cubes automatically. And gas is your quickest, thriftiest way to lots of hot water for dishes, baths, showers, and laundry. A gas dryer dries clothes the fastest, fluffiest ever. Gas incinerates trash without bother or noise. And here's the last word in modern living. An entire house, heated in winter, cooled in summer, by clean, silent, dependable gas. Only gas can do so much for so little. No wonder, then, today, more people than ever are living better and more economically, too, with gas. We'll return to the story of the Nutcracker and further demonstrations of Herr Drosselmeyer's magical powers performed tonight in color on Playhouse 90 by the New York City Ballet after station identification. This is the CBS Television Network. Playhouse 90, Act 2 of The Nutcracker. It is 12 o'clock, midnight. How quiet the house. Where just a little while ago, everything was so gay and lively. full of night and shadows. Even the tree seems different, mysterious. Not a creature should be stirring, but someone is coming out of the upstairs door. Clara, worried about her wounded nutcracker. What a strange feeling in the house. Creakings, rustlings. Even the walls seem to be listening waiting for something to happen.
could be happening to the Christmas tree. mice I've ever seen. Christmas tree isn't the only thing that's grown. See the gingerbread soldiers, how tall they are. Gingerbread soldiers. Oh, this is war. The Nutcracker General takes command of his gingerbread soldiers.
And that gigantic mouse with two, four, six, seven heads. He's the mouse king. destroyed the king of the mice, and the little gingerbread soldiers will never again be eaten by the mouse king's army. magical journey begins. Once, they find themselves deep in a snow forest where the most beautiful snowflakes they have ever seen dance and dance and dance.
Clara, deep into the snowflake forest. This is where the snow goes when it fades from our world. Here it is forever fresh and forever falling. But this is only the first of Clara's amazing adventures on her magical journey. We'll be back with the Nutcracker in color, choreographed especially for Playhouse 90 by Georges Balanchine, and starring members of the New York City Ballet after station identification. This is the CBS Television Network. Playhouse 90, Act 3 of The Nutcracker. The snowflake forest has vanished, and now Clara and her prince find themselves in the land of nowhere. Nothing seems to exist here, not a house, not a creature. And then Clara discovers a gate. And then, she finds another gate. And all at once, the most wondrous vision opens out before them. Candyland. Here, everything is good to eat. Even the decorations on the houses are delicious. Clara's prince finds a frosted sugar plum for her. And inside the sugar plum is the sugar plum fairy. this most powerful of fairies will introduce Clara and her prince to some of the inhabitants of this delectable candy land. Here are angels, the special kind who watch over boys and girls. Angels can do anything, and even while the children look, and as the sugar plum fairy waves her wand, houses begin to move, and the candy street begins to change before their very eyes.
children are introduced to chocolate, rich and dark and Spanish. to tea, Chinese, and aromatic. And peppermint candy cane. <laughs> what could be more Christmassy? Marzipan. Clara could never get enough of it. And Mother Ginger's children. All eight of them. Here's Dewdrop, leading spun sugar candy flowers. The Sugar Plum Fairy presents the children with a box of candy, all for themselves. And so Clara and her prince have met all of the inhabitants of this enchanting land, and each and every one of them is a candy, which will dance and entertain the children. Coffee tastes best on sugar lumps dipped in it.
Marzipan. Everyone in Nuremberg loves this almond paste confection made into bright and lovely shapes.
And here is a very interesting cake. It changes flavor according to your desire. But it's always covered with sugar candy flour. of this cake is a dewdrop.
the sugar plum fairy herself dances with her four cavaliers. Tea, peppermint candy cane, chocolate, and coffee. Candyland joins in to dance for Clara and her prince.
So Clara and her, the prince leave Candyland with visions of sugar plum fairies and the Christmas candies dancing in their heads. And from that day on, Godfather Drosselmeyer's nephew is Clara's prince, and Clara is his princess. And I need not tell you that they live happily ever after. And that is the story of the Nutcracker, brought to you all on this Christmas day. Now, here is Jack Lemon to tell you about next week's Playhouse 90. Next week, Playhouse 90 presents Face of... ...written especially for Playhouse by Robert L. Joseph, based on the... Boo, the Academy Award-winning author of The Bridge on the River Kwai. Face of a Hero is a story of a very dangerous man, a man who wanted to be perfect, refused to settle for anything less in himself or the world. Appearing with me in Face of a Hero are James Gregory, Rip Torn, William Hansen, Henry Hull... Mary Gates and Anne Meacham as Catherine. Now, here is a short preview of Face of a Hero. What are you afraid of? Every time we're alone together, you act like we're still... Married Monday, that's two short days away. Oh, he won't speak to me. He just sets up in his old man's big house on the hill. He won't even come to the telephone. He just sets up there, swilling booze all day long. I can't even get through the front gate. Oh, I examine the evidence, Mr. Prosecuting Attorney. As an initial on the package, you initial on, oh, David, I'm not trying to push you. I'm not trying to shame you into anything. Well, man, you got a case here. You got a real case, now. You do know Millie Bishop. Well, you want a letter of introduction to her? No, <laughs> I, intimately or casually. Both, if you know what I mean. She came to a couple of my parties. You know something? We haven't helped young Rutland at all. We've damn near buried him. Ah, you approve. Approve? You work here so complete, it's almost classic. The preparation, the objectivity, the fairness of it. It's quite staggering. And now, all of us at Playhouse 90 wish you the loveliest Christmas holidays ever and as happy a time as Clara and her prince had in Candyland. Edward Bellella as Candy Cane. Playhouse 90, brought to you tonight by Kimberly Clark, world leader in quality products for home and industry. Among them, wonderfully soft LZ bathroom tissue and Kleenex table napkins that cling like clock. The sponsors of Playhouse 90, all state insurance companies, 
Kimberly Clark Corporation and your gas company wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Two weeks from tonight on January 8th, Playhouse 90 will present a dramatization by Meade Roberts of Henry James' brilliant novel, The Wings of the Dove. One of the most dramatic love stories ever written, this unusual romance is played against the glamorous backdrop of London and Venice. And starring will be Donna Winter, James Donald, Isabel Jeans, Inga Swenson, John Barragray, Henry Daniel, and Loreen Tuttle. Playhouse 90, the only weekly dramatic hour and a half program in television. This is Byrne Bennett speaking. Playhouse 90 is a CBS television network production. Sunday night, see Edward R. Murrow's 10th annual Years of Crisis report with the CBS news team participating on the CBS television network.